Let's see if you know enough algebra and geometry to solve this problem. So we have a square here, and we're trying to express the area or find the area of this square, given that its perimeter is equal to 12x plus 20. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through all the steps that we need to take to get the answer. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need math help beyond my YouTube videos, check out my full main math courses at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have a square, and we're trying to express the area of this square in terms of the variable x. And all we know is that the perimeter of this square is equal to 12x plus 20. So let's take a look at the correct answer here. So the right answer is this. The area of this square can be expressed as 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and A+. Plus. And if you're like, Mr. U2 Math Man, I'm very confused. What's going on here? Well, this is not that difficult, but of course we need to understand what the perimeter is and uh, we need to review how to find the area of this square. So let's see the solution to this right now. So here we have a square, and again, we're being told what the perimeter is, but we need to understand what is the perimeter? What does that mean? And let's uh, learn a little bit about a square. Hopefully, you know, you uh, know something about a square. You probably know what it looks like. This looks like a square. But what is a square by definition? Well, a square is a, well, we kind of, let me give you some technical terms. It's a quadrilateral, okay, which means it's a four-sided polygon where all the sides are equal and the corners here are 90 degrees, okay? So that's kind of a rough um, you know, well, not rough. That's pretty precise in terms of a definition. But the corners are 90 degrees, okay? So that's uh, part of a square. And the sides are all the same length, okay? So that is what a square is. Now, what is the perimeter of not only a square but any object? Let me go ahead and just erase this. Well, the perimeter is the sum uh, around an object, okay, or a figure. So in other words, if I add up this side plus this side plus this side plus this side, that is the perimeter, okay? So that could apply to anything. Let's suppose I had some crazy looking figure like this, right? And I wanted to know the perimeter. Well, I would need to find this side, this side, this side, this side, that side, that side, this side, and that side. I add all this up and that is the perimeter, okay? So hopefully you understood that as well. So Again, the perimeter is being expressed as some sort of algebraic expression, 12x plus 20. So we want to find the area of this square. So what is the perimeter again? Well, it's all four sides in this case, the perimeter of a square. So side plus side plus side plus side. Or we could write that as 4 times s, right, where s is the length of the side of the square. Now, the area, okay, we're being asked to find the area of the square or express the area of the square. We would need to know what the area of a square is. So the area of a square is, a, is uh, equal to the side times the side, all right? Now, this would be pretty close to the area of a rectangle where it's length times the width, right? So the area is equal to length times the width here. The length and the width is, are, are the same, so it's just s times s. So the area is equal to s times s or s squared, okay? All right, so hopefully you, uh, you knew these concepts, you knew what perimeter was. If you didn't, that's why I kind of review these things because I don't assume anything when it comes to what you may or may not know. I mean, if you're watching this video, one, thank you very much, but two, I assume that you are learning something and you, you know, you're, this was an easy problem, you know, like super, super easy. You're like, ah, I know everything that he's gonna say or what I'm going to talk about, but if you're interested in this problem, then let's review these terms so you walk away with a complete understanding of all the concepts involved. All right, so here we have perimeter, okay? The perimeter of this square is four times the side, and the area 
is side times five or uh, side squared. So this is all we need to solve this problem, okay? Now, if we wanna find the area of this square, we're going to need to know what? What piece of information are we gonna need to know? We're gonna need to know the length of the side, okay? So I need to get at least one side. If I know this side, I know all four sides. So if I get the side, I can take that side, multiply by that side, and I will get the area. So my objective is, how can I get the length of one side if I have the perimeter? Well, let's go ahead and solve for the sides. So we know 4s is equal to the perimeter. So I could set up a lovely equation here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here's the perimeter. We know the perimeter is equal to 12x plus 20. And the perimeter in terms of a, a formula for a square is equal to 4s. So what I want to do here is solve for s, okay? I want to get uh, um, an expression where s is equal to something else because this is basically one side, right? One side of the square. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. So 12x plus 20 is equal to 4s, 4s. So remember, uh, sometimes students get confused about this. Let me just make sure no one's confused. So here I have the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side of the equation. So if this is equal to this, I can write it this way, or I can write the right is equal to the left. In other words, I'm going to put the 4s on this side and the 12x plus 20. That's totally allowed in algebra, so don't let that confuse you. So now I want to solve for s, okay? So I'm going to be dividing both sides of the equation by 4 to solve for s, but before I do that, I know I'm going to be dividing both sides of the equation by 4. I'm going to look at these terms right here. And I'm like, you know what? I noticed that both of these have 4 as a factor. In other words, 12 is 4 times 3 and 20 is 4 times 5. So let's go ahead and just factor out a 4 right now because this is going to make our life much, much easier when I divide both sides of the equation by 4. All right, so let's go ahead and divide now both sides of the equation by 4. And we have 4 divided by 4, which is S. That's excellent. That's what I want. And here, these 4s cross cancel, right? These are like factors. So that leaves you with 3x plus 5. So we have one side of this square being equal to 3x plus 5. And remember, that's what we needed, uh, needed to find out to express the area. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. All right, let's go to do that now. Okay, so here is our square uh, we just solved for one side. Again, that's uh, 3x plus 5. So how would I find the area of a square where the side is equal to 3x plus 5? Uh, easy, I'm simply going to just square that, right? Or multiply 3x plus 5 by itself. So the area is side, uh, the side times the side or side squared. So in this case, the side is 3x plus 5. So it's 3x plus 5 times 3x plus 5. Now, if some of you had this as your answer, I'm going to go ahead and give you a happy face. And matter of fact, I'll give you an A, not an A plus. And if this was some sort of test, I probably would give you like 97 out of 100. And a lot of you are like saying, come on, Mr. Math teacher, that's kind of mean, right? You're like, hey, what are you talking about? Give me the full credit for this prom. Well, listen, hold on here. Hold on one second. Uh, this is uh, correct. But when you're given things like this, you know, your teacher is going to want you to kind of take it to the next level and, and basically finish this up by multiplying this out. OK, it's pretty typical. Uh, but again, most uh, teachers, depending on how nice they are, will give you most credit for uh, the answer at this stage. But imagine if this was like a multiple choice question and you had like A, B, C, and this was not an option. You're like, I don't know, you know, I'm like, you're right, but you're, you don't know how to identify your answer. Well, again, you get out to finish this up, finish this problem up by multiplying. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have a binomial times a binomial. So here you just want to use the FOIL method. So let's go to do that here. That's first, outer, inner, last. Okay, so we don't know how to multiply binomials. Again, this is all basic algebra. I would suggest in this particular um, uh, level of algebra, probably like my Algebra 1 course, if you really want to learn uh, learn this stuff, 
with me in my formal instruction. So we got 3x times 3x, it gives us 9x squared. 3x times this 5 gives us 15x. 5 times that 3x gives us another 15x. 5 times 5 is 25. And then we'll go ahead and put this all together. These are like terms, so that's 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. There you go. That is the area of this squared, given that the um, perimeter is equal to 12x plus 20. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.